We are in Paris at the Olympics. One day the same seems swimmable, the next day it rains, and that's no longer the case, so they postpone the competitions. Why this uncertainty? Why the variability? But above all, what is it that makes the river not swimmable? Guys, I'm going to record this video live with no interruptions, so if I make any mistakes, be patient. So many of you have asked us for an explanation to understand better, and so here we are. It's also very interesting in my opinion. Let's get straight to the point. The main problem is called Escherichia coli, a bacterium naturally present in the intestinal flora of mammals, and so in our own intestinal flora as well, and also in birds, which can often cause gastrointestinal problems or inflammation above certain thresholds. That is why in Europe, by law, above 900 units of bacterial colony formation per 100 milliliters of water, there is a swimming ban. Staying under this amount is also considered safe by the World Triathlon Federation. As you can imagine, since the start of the Olympics, these values have gone beyond the allowable limit after the rains. Wait a minute though. The river pollution does not increase because the rainwater is polluted. To understand why the rains increase pollution, we need to take a very brief excursus. Paris, like any city on a river, has a certain water treatment capacity, so it can treat a certain amount of dirty water. Like many cities of old construction, the rainwater treatment system is connected to the sewage system. The system has a treatment limit. If it floods and this limit is exceeded, inevitably excess wastewater overflows from sewer systems and goes directly into the river carrying Escherichia coli. So, basically the Seine is more polluted after rains. It's not a coincidence that, due to a period of heavy rains, swimming races on the Seine were cancelled in Paris last summer. Escherichia coli levels thus depend on unpredictable conditions such as precisely weather conditions, for example. In short, with the predictability of a few days, Escherichia coli concentrations rise with sudden spikes of rain and then fall back just as briefly, because the bacteria are naturally carried away by the river current. Look at this graph, it makes this phenomenon very clear. From July 17th to July 20th, everything was okay, with Escherichia coli concentrations of less than 900 units, so that on the 17th itself, the mayor of Paris jumped into the river showing that it was safe to swim into. It was actually more of a communication act, and in fact, on July 20th, it rains, taking only 24 hours for the wastewater to drain and pushing again the concentration over the limit, so not swimmable again. The most recent and massive intervention to make the Seine swimmable was the construction of a collection basin, the one recently opened in Austerlitz. We are talking about the spring of 2024, after three and a half years of work and a cost of about 90 million euros. With a volume of about 50,000 cubic meters, it can hold the equivalent of about 12 Olympic-sized swimming pools. What is the function of this facility? It allows any excess rainwater to be retained, thus preventing it from ending up in the sewer system, and thus consequently flowing into the Seine carrying the Escherichia coli with it. The collected water is transported through a system of underground tunnels to a treatment plant that removes bacterial colonies and thus essentially pollutants, and finally the treated water is then pumped back into the Seine. That at least was the goal. It seems, however, that this structure cannot completely solve the issue. In fact, as you know, in the last days of July, the values rose above the threshold again due to rainfall. This happens because the Austerlitz Basin can prevent sewage overflows into the city, but not those that happen further upstream along the river. In that case, 
The bacteria end up in the Seine before they get to Paris, and so the basin can't do anything about it. In short, you manage to buffer a little bit, but then nature inevitably always wins, and that's the final outcome in every issue. On July 31st, after the Escherichia coli values went down again, the triathlon races were confirmed. It's sure that the moment heavy rain comes down again, the four gauging stations, because there are four measuring stations along the Seine in Paris, will most likely provide data that will again declare the Seine not swimmable for a few days. Having said that, I hope we have provided some clarity on this issue. I thank you for following us to the end and look forward to seeing you next time, always here on Geopop Everyday Science.